today we're at this private Alabama farm pond and we're here to talk about filamentous algae. Uh, filamentous algae is a pretty common problem in ponds um, and it's primarily known as uh, pond moss to a lot of folks. Um, but filamentous algae is pretty easy to identify. Um, it's a very simple, simple growth. Uh, has no leaves on it. It's just a stringy, um, kind of a goopy, slimy, slimy mess. Sometimes it can be, um, it can kind of have a smell to it. Uh, but for the most part, it's just characterized by just that stringy, stringy green, slimy uh, growth that you see on a pond. There's several different species of, of algae throughout Alabama. Um, perhaps the most common ones are Cladophora, uh, Pitophora, Spirogyra, and Lingvia. Uh, some of those are only problematic in the springtime, some are problematic in the summertime, and some are problematic throughout the season. Now we can prevent and filamentous algae through proper dye and fertilization techniques and we have another video detailing that process but when it comes to chemically controlling filamentous algae the herbicides of chelated copper and diquat do a good job of controlling the majority of species that we deal with here in the state of Alabama additionally for smaller areas and spot treatments copper sulfate granules like you see here can do well for that uh, job also um, this is a little bit small, it's a powder. I do suggest that that medium to large size copper sulfate granule will be purchased. It's about the size of a fingernail and does a good job at uh, being thrown more accurately on algae mats and problem areas. As always with any herbicide application or pesticide application for that matter, uh, be sure to read and follow the labels accordingly. And also make sure that you do wear and have available the proper protective equipment for that application. A simple 25 gallon spray tank and pump can be used for most liquid chelated copper and diquat herbicide applications. However, rather than applying over the surface of the pond, which only distributes the chemical within just the first few inches below the surface, it's suggested that you instead place the hose under the surface so that it can be more readily mixed within the prop wash of an outboard or trolling motor. This subsurface application will provide for much more effective and economical control of algae at greater depths of up to 3 to even 4 feet.